everybody, how's it going? It's Jessie from Jessie Marie Does Stuff here on Floss 2. I'm coming to you on this Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. So, Stitch Mania Eve. Eve. Yeah. Um, to talk about my mania plans. I have set my mania plans in sand. <laughs> uh, to set them in stone would be implying too much. Y'all know me. I change my plans all the time. Case in point, this video here. So, before I get into everything, I'd like to say welcome. Uh, if you are new here, then thank you so much for coming to check me out. On this channel, I talk mostly about cross stitch. Today, it's all cross stitch. This is a floss tube extra where I'm showing you some things I'm starting and planning to work on in the month of May. Um, but in regular update videos, which today is not, um, I will talk about my whips and new stash and um, I'll also talk about books and knitting when it when it applies. Um, so hopefully some of that is interesting enough to you to stick around. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Uh, some of this will be a surprise, but the fact that it's some of it's a surprise, let me see if I can say that without tripping on it. Some of this is going to be a surprise. However, the fact that some of it is a surprise should not be surprising. <laughs> Just because, don't know me. So, Stitch Mania. M-A-Y-N-I-A kicks off on Friday. May the 1st. I'm so giddy I can't even say words. So, apologies ahead of time. Uh, real quick run through, Stitch Mania was started as a starts fest, um, kind of those things that you bought and you were like, oh, I can't wait to start this, and then they just sit in your stash. Here's an excuse to start them. Um, that's kind of how it started. It's evolved, and it's make it however you want to, do something manic, a little outside your comfort zone, a little unexpected. Um, it's supposed to kind of kickstart the middle of the year um, excitement about your stitching. Um, yeah, so do with it how you will. When I talked to you guys, uh, when a couple weeks ago, I think, I did the stash dive uh, for some mania things. And in that video, which I'll link up there, um, I pulled some things from my stash and I kind of talked it over with you guys about some things that I thought maybe I might like to start. Um, and at that time, my plan was six starts, three days a piece, uh, to, to sort of stretch out mania but get some good progress into each of these new starts. That would take me through the 18th of the month and then I was going to spend the rest of the month on In This Moment. Things are different now. I blame floss tube. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I blame all of you with the with a ton of starts on the docket. Um, I yeah, I just I couldn't. I also blame the fact that I had a really hard time, really hard time, narrowing down that pile to just a, uh, just a few. I was having a really hard time with it. So. After doing some soul searching and being enabled by floss tube and even talking it over with my husband to see what he had to say, we've expanded things out just a little bit, just a little bit. This year I am doing the blimey cat method. So let me explain to you the blimey cat method. Blimey cat method was coined by none other than blimey cat, Brittany. Uh, she is also Ingleside Imaginarium. Um, so her second mania her second stitch mania. She sort of did this thing where if you started a project on the first and over the course of the year, you finished that project, then on the first, you get a new start. If you started a project on the second and you have not yet finished that project by the time the next mania comes around, you work on that project again on that specific day. Great, right? Because it means that those things that you were super excited about to start for Mania one year, but, you know, then maybe didn't get as much love over the next year or years in my case, um, you spend a day working on them, just, just giving them a little bit of love. Pretty cool concept. Um, so I did, my very first Mania was 2016, and I did 36 starts over 31 days. 
2017, I did the blimey cat method. And, but I only did, I think, 15 days or 8, 17 days or something like that. Something to that effect. Um, I didn't do the full 31 days of blimey cat. 2018 and 2019 were both monogamania, and so those do not apply. So this year, I'm doing Blimey Cat again. Um, and so what I'm about to show you are my previously started mania projects that aren't yet finished, and I'll talk about when I'm going to work on them. And then the empty slots, I'm going to fill in with new starts. It's going to total to officially nine starts, but technically seven. And I'll explain that when we get there. Um, so those, those are my plans. In rewriting this plan, um, I decided to narrow it down to 15 days. However, if I'm feeling really good about the new starts by day 15, I have some, some bonus things that I could start, um, some maybes. Uh, we'll just we'll kind of wait and see on that. My thinking is that with doing another year of no new starts or attempting, there's the word, next year, um, I may want to sort of fill out the calendar a little bit again on May so that next mania I can do uh, like a daily rotation of whips for maybe 21 days since next year is 2021. So I may, I may fill that out, but we'll kind of see how I feel. This is going to bring me up to nearly 80 whips again, um, which is counterintuitive to sort of what my overall plan has been for a couple years now. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how I'm feeling at that point. Currently, I'm sticking to 15 days. That's the original mania sort of timeline. Um, and so we're going to go with that. Okay. Are you guys ready to see what I'm going to be working on each day? I'm so excited. Okay, so um, I'm going to be referencing my calendar here uh, because I don't remember exactly what day I started things. Okay, so on May the 1st, I don't have anything, and so I will be getting a new start. I'm going to show you guys the new starts after I get through the previously started projects first. Okay, so I get a new start on the 1st. On the 2nd, in 2017, I started... Santa Coming to Town by Stitch Rovia. And so I'm going to show you where I'm starting with these because I won't work on them before, before Mania. So I uh, will be working on this on Saturday. This is on a 32 count Belfast in Ice Crystals by Hand Dyed Fabrics by Stephanie. And here's where I'm up to. This gorgeous fabric is showing up fairly accurately. Uh, it's overcast, but the sun keeps peeking out, so we'll see we'll see what my lighting does today. Anyway, so this is where I'm starting from. I'm at over the halfway point, um, and so I'll work on this on Saturday. Okay. Oh, my phone turning off is not going to be helpful. Okay. Uh, the third, fourth, and fifth, I've got nothing, so I will have three new starts in there. That's pretty cool. Okay, on the 6th, I'm going to insert a preview here because at the current moment I cannot find my book. Uh, but this is coming from the Fairy Enchantment book by Joan Elliott. And in 2017, I started Once Upon a Time. Uh, so it's the fairy reading to the little fairy. There's a castle in a bubble. Um, and this is on 32 Count Belfast in Iris from Hand Dyed by Stephanie. And so this is how I've how far I've gotten in the last three years. We're not judging. This is a judgment-free zone. Um, <laughs> I love this fabric. I think it's really pretty gorgeous. It's dark. It's darker than it's showing there. Um, it's kind of washing out, but that's all right. So that's where I'm starting from on the 6th. So that is May 6th. May 7th is a special case. On May 7th, um, in 2017, I started Summer Sampler by the Cooler Design Studio. However, I'm swapping that out for another project, which I'll show you in a little bit. Um, under normal circumstances, I would work on both in the same day, but I'm not really trying to do that. 
Uh, so I'm going to just give the whole day to this new start, which has a, it has a, a scheduled date. Okay. Um, the eighth, I've got nothing. So new start going in there. Um, and then we're going to have three whips in a row. So on the ninth, I, in 2016, I started Beauty and the Beast by Donna Stitch, which I have already worked on this year. And I'm really, really excited to get back into. I actually had a dream about this the other night. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, this is on a 32 count Belfast in cream from Zweigart and just real quick here using all of the called for DMC. I mentioned that because in my dream I was using variegated and I got my colors all mixed up. Yep. So that is, that is where I will be working starting on the 9th on the 10th. This is so exciting. So exciting. On the May 10th, 2017, right? Yes, I started. Oops. Alice in a Dolly Dream by Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm so excited to work on this. I don't think I've worked on it since. Maybe for about, maybe for a few minutes back in 2018. Um... But yeah, this is, this is sad stuff here. Uh, so this is on a 25 count, easy count Lugana. Oh yeah, I did work on this a little bit. Okay. And this thing is huge. I have no idea. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, so that's where I'm starting from. I have a whopping, what, 800 stitches in this? Um, so yeah, I'm so excited to work on this. Obviously, if you've been with me a while, you know that my whips are kind of um, split into two categories. It's basically active whips and sort of temporary UFOs. Uh, and obviously, I'm throwing all of that out the window here for Mania. Because why not? So I'm going to work on that on the 10th and hopefully get a good couple hundred stitches in it. I'd really, really like to do that. Okay, on the 11th is another one that I'm really excited to work on. This is The Queen Mermaid by Mirabilia. Gorgeous. This one is out of print. Um, I have seen recently where they are still kind of, for lack of a better term, floating around. <laughs> this is on 32 Count Belfast in As You Wish by Under the Sea Fabrics. And I started this project in 2016. Yep. And so that's where I'm starting from. I will probably continue working down to, to tail and fin there. But she's gorgeous. Yeah, that's really pretty. I always enjoy working on this one um, when I get a spare few minutes to do so. On the 12th, I've got nothing. So new start is going to fit in there. On the 13th in 2016, I started the horror movie Alphabet by Clouds Factory. So excited uh, to have dark 13 stitching. <laughs> um, and so preview here of what that's going to look like finished. Um, and this is on a 32 count Belfast in Lichen's Moon by Under the Sea Fabrics. And this is where I'm up to. Uh, I know that task number one, I started on Michael Myers here. I'm going to have to start that over because my stitches look awful. They don't look as bad as I remembered. We'll see. We'll see what it looks like once I get it on the frame. Anyway. Um, so this is where I'm starting from with this gorgeous project. Horror Movie Alphabet was on the 13th. On the 14th, I've got nothing, so there's a new start going in there. The 15th is a lot like the 7th. On the 15th in 2017, I started Mirabilia's Garden Beauty. However, I'm going to swap that for a new start with a, with a planned date. Um, so that is, that is it for the whips portion of Stitch Mania. Um, and so now I'm going to talk to you guys about the new starts that I have planned. For the vast majority of these, I'm waiting on something. Um, 
in the process of kidding over the last few days, I my stash is severely lacking. Um, I have a ton of fabric. However, because I've become a little bit more of a prim stitcher, samplers, 40 count, <laughs> I have a lot of bright, colorful, happy 32 count. Um, and that doesn't really fit with these things that I'm that I'm trying to get started here. So I'm waiting on a few things. That's going to kind of dictate when I start certain things. Two of these have scheduled start dates. The rest I'm going to put in a wheel, sort of. So everything that I have on order, it's not going to be here by the first. It's just, it's not going to be here by the first. So these first two things that I'm going to show you are my contenders for the first. Maybe you guys can vote. Let's do that. Let's, let's make this fun. Um, <laughs> you guys pick which one of these two I am starting on Friday, May the 1st. How are we kicking off my Stitch Mania 2020? Okay. So the first is something that you did see before. Um, and this is Plum Street Sampler's Jack's Bash. I always flip it the wrong way. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeousness. So this is fully kitted and ready to go. I have pegged for this 40 count sea fog from r and r a gorgeous soft green and these are my threads these are all of the called for threads here what's the verb we use now can i nicole these threads <laughs> um, so these are all dental art sampler threads and they are all of the called fours Um, and I'm really excited about this. So, all set to go. <laughs> okay, so that is option number one for the first. Option number two for the first is a project that was in my considering my start pile. Uh, this is Bendy Stitchy Rolodex Morning Sampler. And I have this one fully kitted and ready to go. She calls for Weak Style Works, Gentle Art, Classic Color Works, and Color and Cotton. Um, and I had a total of three of the called four threads. So I did some substitutions. Um, and in fact, I actually removed one of the called four threads because my two skeins of Moss and Wood Trail were almost identical. Like, one of them might have been mislabeled. <laughs> so I subbed out Wood Trail for something else because um, I knew that it would get lost. Um, the base of my tree was going to get completely lost in there. So I subbed that out and I changed the fabric and I'm doing all sorts of fun things with this. So here is my thread palette for this. Um, it is a mix of Gentle Arts and Color and Cotton. And I'm really excited. Uh, this here, uh, this is my substitution for Gentle Art Corn Husk. It is Color and Cotton Seahorse. Um, it's brighter than it's showing there. I'm putting this on a 32 count Belfast in Lapis from Under the Sea Fabrics. It's just this gorgeous blue. Um, but dark enough so that those uh, toasted barley and seahorse would show up, but not so dark that um, sapphire by color and cotton would disappear. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. The only one that I'm worried about is Highlands by color and cotton. Um, and that's the called for, um, for several of the tombstones and the posts on the, on the, gate of the door, the door of the gate. Um, so we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, we'll see if that gets, if that gets lost. Don't know yet. I'm so excited for this tree. I cannot wait to stitch this tree. So you guys, both of these are going to get started in May mania, but where do you think I should start? Jack's bash or Rolodex morning sampler. Take your pick, make your votes. Um, 
I guess that I'm going to have to pull the results as of, um, like, tomorrow night. Like, by the time I go to bed tomorrow night. <laughs> because there is that. So those are the only two that I have that are ready to go. Like, uh, well, I have two more, but they have scheduled start dates. Um, but those are able to be started on the first. Okay, so then the second, we go to a whip. Third, fourth, and fifth. One of those is going to be in the third, fourth, and fifth. Um, let's see. Okay. Next, very possibly, um, can be music amongst the trees. And I don't really have this kitted because it's all DMC and my fabric is on order. Um, but that did ship today, so it's possible that I could have that by the 5th, I hope. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm at the mercy of the U.S. Postal Service, and as long as it gets to me safe, that's really all that truly matters in this instance. Anyway, so, um, so my fabric did ship today, so we'll see about that. I ordered just a basic neutral for this one. Um, it's called for white, I think, or antique white. Yeah, antique white. Um, but I wanted something a little darker. I wanted to do like a soft green, but I just don't, I don't have that in stash. And um, again, I'm at the mercy of what's available. So um, I'm so excited to start this. This is very possible for early next week. Okay, so there's that. Um, okay. All right, I'm just going to go through the rest of these because they're at various stages of ready to go. Next is Sans Souci. So this is one that you saw that was on my considerations. Um, it was my long dog sampler consideration. I know that in my stash dive video, I asked you guys to vote on the needleworker ones, um, but Sans Souci got a couple of votes even, <laughs> even otherwise. So... If I had my druthers, I would be doing this uh, with a Silks For You, a hank of Silks For You silk. However, there's just no guarantees that a hank is going to get here by June, let alone early May. Um, and so I had to pivot. And so I thought, okay, next best thing, what should I do for this? I confess that I was watching a video from Zakia, Lady Wing Designs, and this idea popped in my head. I need 995 in this. There's an elephant. I need 995 in this. Um, so I got to thinking about how to, how to do that. And then I thought, Stitch Palettes. So Stitch Palettes is this wonderful resource where they take images found on the internet or elsewise, not sure, and they pull a color palette from those images. And it's beautiful and it's so, so cool. So I, the cool thing about it is that when you go to Stitch Palettes, you can type in a thread number, a DMC thread number, and it pulls up all of the palettes that they have in, encompassing that thread number. So cool. So I started with 995, and I wasn't super overwhelmed, excited about uh, what they had for 995. So I bumped it up to 996, which is also an electric blue. And I found this one. Earth Brown, I don't remember what it's called. Preview here. It's a stinking elephant. <laughs> so that is my color palette. The palest blue, I believe, is called 43761. That's my fabric color. So I ordered a Zweigart Ice Blue. And then these are my threads. I did change them because I wanted 995 in this. Um, and so um, the neutrals are as called for. And then the blues are 996 and 995. And this is my thread palette. So I don't know exactly my plan of attack here, like what's going to be brown and what's going to be gray and what's going to be blue, but I'm going to pop in some colors here and there. You can bet that the elephant is in 995 because 
that's a thing that just has to happen. Um, <laughs> and then everything else, we'll kind of wait and see how I decide to, to pick colors. I'm so excited for this. I can't even tell you guys. Um, yeah, just really excited. I could have done the whole thing in 995, but um, I'm really kind of excited about this multicolored one. So that's all I have for Sansusi. Um, I have the chart loaded up on Pattern Keeper, ready to go. <laughs> but there it is. So very excited. Okay, this next one was not in my stash dive video. Um, and I've got basically nothing ready for it. So <laughs> this is Heap on the Wood from Brenda Gervais. I'm watching Julie, um, Kansas City Girl in a Colorado World. She shows this piece. She got me on it previously and then I filed it away for some other time. And then she showed it again and I was like, I have to, I have to, I have to. So I found it and I ordered it. I can't find the thread list, so I can't pull threads yet. Um, it calls for Weeks Dye Works beige, but A, I'm not using Weeks Dye Works beige, and B, I'd like to see the colors of the threads before I choose fabrics officially. Um, I'd like to be able to pull those and then we'll make the determination on fabrics. Um, so I've basically got nothing. The chart is on order um, and supposedly it's shipping today, maybe tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to start this early next week, but we'll kind of wait and see. You never know. So I, I pulled two maybe fabrics um, and we'll go with that. So uh, they're both lakeside linens and I'm secretly hoping that neither of these work because I'm trying to hoard them. Uh, they are both 32 count Belfast linen. This one here is vintage maple sugar. Gorgeous. More of a gray tone to it. And then this one I'm really trying to hoard um, is vintage light exemplar. Do you guys do that? Do you hoard fabrics because you're never really sure if you're going to get any more? Yeah, that's these two for me. Um, <laughs> it's silly, but I'm hoarding them. Uh, and so I'm thinking that I'm probably going to need to use one of these for Heap on the Wood um, because my neutral stash is super sad, but um, we'll just kind of wait and see, kind of wait and see what we do there. I do think I am going to use a 32 count for it, mostly because that's what I've got. And um, also I think it calls for 30 count weeks beige, so, or maybe... Maybe 32. I don't know what it calls for. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll be using one of these. So <laughs> really great plans here, huh? Okay. Uh, next is also something that I don't have yet, but I've got fabric and thread picked out. So that's good. Um, it is also something that you all did not see uh, in my stash dye video. So this is 40 count platinum Newcastle linen. I used it to start um, Shades of Wine by Northern Expressions Needlework a few years ago and found I didn't love it, so I UFO'd it. Um, so I've got this whole fat quarter basically available to me. And I will finally be adhering to the law. And I'm going to start Anna Oman, or Oman, I keep wanting to call her Anna Oman, uh, by Lila Studio. And I'm using Gentle Art Sampler Threads Cherry Bark. These two skeins, although it's not really showing here in person, or on camera, excuse me, in person, this one is a little bit more brown. Um, and this one is a little bit more red. Well, maybe you're seeing that there. So uh, I'm going to have to sort of mix up where I use them. I think that two skeins is pretty is going to be enough with one strand over two on 40 count. I think that two skeins is enough. If not, I have a source for this. And so uh, that shouldn't be a problem. So I'm finally going to have a red sampler on the go. Super gorgeous. So excited for that. Chart is on order. Okay. This next one was a total accident. 
I didn't really mean to include this uh, in the in the maybe pile, um, but it just happened. I don't even know how. Whatever. Um, so this is Stacy Nash Primitives Martha Agnes. For this one, I'm waiting on fabric, which is on order um, and could be here as early as next week. So there is that. I had fabric pegged for this for years, and then I pilfered it for Portuguese bird sampler, so um, I had to go back to the drawing board. Um, I ordered 40 count dapple. We'll see what that looks like uh, when it gets here. Um, so, Stacey Nash Primitives, and here is my thread palette minus cinders. Cinders is on order. And um, so this is what I've got so far. Uh, this is my substitute for toasted barley, um, which is the body of the peacock. Um, let's see. And then I have aged pewter in here just in case I don't like how variegated that is for the body. Walnut and caramel corn are called for. And then um, I can't find ginger snap or cinnamon. Um, that's not true. I can find them. Um, it's just that I had already placed my order with my source <laughs> and I wasn't going to order again. Um, so I decided to sub with an NPI from Stash, which is that kind of rusty, warm orange color. Um, this is color number 476. And since I'm doing it on 40 count over two, I hope that's enough. <laughs> we'll find out. I'll let you guys know. Um, but yeah, the hope is that that one skein will be enough. If not, then I'll order another one and pray to DMC that they match. I guess I should probably pray to NPI in that case. Um, yeah, so that is my plan for that. Uh, and I'm really excited to start this. Um, this is better suited for an update video, but I'm having I'm having dreams of a morbid or um, sort of dark th sampler wall. Lea Grona would fit in great in there. Um, and Rolodex Morning Sampler would fit in great in there. There's a Shakespeare's Peddler on death that would fit in wonderful in there. And Martha Agnes would fit in great in there. Uh, so because the, the verse on here. My time is swiftly passing by. My day of death is drawing nigh. Those youthful hands I now employ, worms of dust, will soon destroy. Yeah, this would be great for that dark and creepy wall. Okay. So, those are the... I'm not exactly sure when I'm going to start them. It depends on the wheel, this supposed wheel, and it depends on um, my supplies. Okay, these next two are the ones with scheduled dates. So this is starting on the 7th. This is a stitch along with Rita Marie, Rita Marie's Stitching Adventure. Belinda, Aussie Stitcher. I think we got Vicky, Reading and Stitching, to join us. Uh, and this is Moonflowers by Mirabilia. So she will get started on the 7th. Um, we chose the 7th because that's the next full moon. Uh, and so... That is what I will be starting on the 7th. I am stitching this on a 32 count Belfast in Whole Lot of Love by Color Cascade Fabrics. Um, on the viewer, it's darker than my piece, but it's gorgeous anyway. And I think it's going to look lovely on that. I'm going to try to center it so that the top of the moon... Oh, I'm going to be working on this side because it looks like this side was hit with the die. Uh, so the top of the moon is going to be in this dark section of the die. And it's washing out there. Um, it's, yeah, that's closer. It's pretty rich and purpley and blue and gorgeous. So that I will be starting on the 7th. Now, the moment you all have been waiting for, or if you read the comments on my stash dive video, maybe you knew this is coming. Um, I chose a handful of needlework themed pieces 
and I asked you guys to choose one for me, the absolute landslide, kind of embarrassing, no contest win <laughs> went to Good Intentions by Kathy Barrick. Like, I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was like 40 some odd to this and then somewhere in the 20s to the second. Like, <laughs> yeah, huge landslide victory for this one which I'm kind of excited about and also not really surprised. When I watched the playback, I was the most excited about this, which I think kind of influenced you guys in your votes. Um, it wasn't intentional, but anyway. So, Good Intentions by Kathy Bear. Uh, I changed the color palette on this because it calls for like 10 colors, technically charted in NPIs, uh, but super easy to make some substitutions. Uh, I did not go with the MPIs nor the DMC. I am doing mine in Gentle Arts and Color and Cotton. Go figure. Uh, and I did not go with the called for color palette. It's kind of close because it's kind of an autumnal idea anyway. And um, I wouldn't be me if I didn't make it Virginia Tech. So, um, there they are. <laughs> Maroon and orange. Uh, that is cherry bark and I had a lot of cherry bark and burnt orange. Um, and then I sort of grabbed things to go alongside it. Um, and then I'm using uh, just a true black. Is that black or is that carriage black? can't remember. Yeah, that's true black. Something else, I chose carriage black. Rolodex, that's right. Um, so that is my color palette for Good Intentions. I'm so excited and I am stitching this on 32 Count Belfast in Winter Wishes by Hand Dye Fabrics by Stephanie. It's like a pale gray. Um, yes, that is Winter Wishes. It's got kind of a bluey tone to it, but just barely there blue. Uh, it's mostly, it's mostly just a soft gray. Um, I had started Stitch Rovia's Quotes to Live By on this and decided not too terribly long ago that that was just not going to fit my aesthetic and so scrap and now I've got a fat quarter with which to, to put this on. The original was stitched on 36 count but on 32 count she's only like 7 by 7 so she's not very big. This should be a quick stitch too, I think. Fairly quick. Okay, so those are the official the official starts. The, the things that will get started at some point in the first 15 days of May. If for some reason some of my materials aren't going to arrive or I decide to extend Mania beyond the 15th, here are some maybe things. Um... But before I get to that, though, uh, I was watching Two Martini Stitcher, Erin. She was going through her kitted things that, that are maybe get started during Mania. And one of the things that she showed was one of the Fragments in Time series by Summer House Stitchworks. And I told her that if that one comes up, she needs to let me know because I will also start a Fragments in Time from Summer House. So... This might get started um, depending on, on what happens with Erin's Mania. Um, I only have two of the called for threads um, and I don't have fabric pegs, but this I believe is from, all these charts were released in 2015, so I'm guessing, oh, 2014 too. Um, so this is 2014 or 2015. Um, they mostly don't have dates on them. This is Fragments in Time Celebrating Sampler Motifs. And they're not, oh, there we go, 2014. So the last two were dated, um, but these first ones weren't. Anyway, so it calls for a total of five general art sampler threads. Um, I probably have Cinnamon, Grecian Gold, and Ondive. Um, I probably have all of them just pegged in other projects because general arts rules my life. Um, but I do have Wood Trail and Chamomile. 
Um, and I haven't picked Firebrook for this because this is a this is a maybe. Um, but I'll probably go with like I have 28 count ale available to me, which I may do this on. Um, this is supposed to be it's called to be stitched on 28 count picture this plus Ren, which I don't have. But um, so that's a possibility. I may I may get that started. One of my guaranteed starts that I talked about in my stash dive, you will notice, maybe, it's absence. Um, and that is Auspicious Hope by La Di Da. This chart stressed me out, stresses me out. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I don't have the fabric that I want for it. I want it on a 40 count. And my neutral 40 count platinum, that's what I've got. Um, and I have, yeah, I just, I don't have it. Uh, my color in cotton is on its way, scheduled to be here around Monday. But it was stressing me out with this. It calls for NPIs, DMC given, but I'm cool with subbing for color and cotton in general arts, but I want to see what my fabric is first. It was stressing me out. <laughs> um, I was thinking, okay, so what if I commit to doing this with the color and cotton fabric of the month, and that turns out to be a green, and I don't want a green for this, or it turns out to be another blue or a pink, um, you know, what am I going to do? Um, so that really wasn't going to work. Uh, just the maybes and sort ofs, and I don't know. It could work. So we're going to have to wait and see what that fabric looks like before I make the determination on this. Um, so yeah, this one went into the maybe. Maybe later. Maybe later. Uh, okay. Um, and then also are a few other things. Um... Our Lasting Friendship from Blackbird. I don't have a Blackbird. Which feels like a travesty in and of itself. Um, but this is the one that I really want to start. And I wasn't really feeling like deviating just so that I could have something guaranteed. But this is also something that's waiting to see what the fabric from Color and Cotton looks like. I'm going to have to sub all the threads to stash threads. Because it calls for mostly col um, classic color works. So yeah, I have to see what my fabric looks like before I can even consider that. Um, Castles by the Sea, Teresa Wensler. That would go on a generic neutral. Heartstring samplery, coffee bean sampler. Um, generic neutral. I have a 34 count legacy that maybe this would go on. Um, so that's maybe higher up on the if I expand my mania. Um, Time for Myself by Soda Stitch. I haven't ever stitched a Soda Stitch despite the fact that I have a ton in stash. Um, so, maybe. Uh, and the Lenart Lazy Afternoon. And then I have a couple of things on Etsy. Like, I've got a bunch of maybes and sort ofs, but we're going to have to wait and see how I'm feeling as of the 15th. Who knows? By the 5th, I could be done with the new starts and too stressed out and abandon all of this and go back to in this moment for <laughs> two months. Who knows? So anyway, those are the, those are the plans currently as it stands. I'm so excited for Stitch Mania. I am ready for this to get going. Be sure to cast your votes for Jack's Bash or Rolodex Morning Sampler for my May the 1st start. Um, I'm really excited. Um, like I said, I'll be taking votes up through tomorrow night um, because I would like to get it set up on my frame and ready to go first thing Friday morning. That's the plan there. Uh, do, do, do. What else did I want to say? Mania Plans Playlist. Your girl is far behind on this. <laughs> yeah. So um, I every year I do a Mania Plans Playlist. Um, and so I'm going to link that up here as well as in the description box below. If you, like me, love to binge Mania Plans videos, click those links, go check them out. Um, it will just 
play all of the Stitch Mania Plans videos that I was able to curate. Um, I follow both my subscription feed as well as the hashtag Stitch Mania on YouTube, um, and then I will look up on YouTube just Stitch Mania without the hashtag attached. Um, and I will fill in that playlist using those methods. If you are scrolling through that and I don't have you, um, I don't have your video, send me a link to your video, not your channel, but to your video, and I will get it added to the playlist. Um, either message me on Instagram and say, hey, go find my channel, it's video number, da da da, or post a link to it in the comments if you don't see it in the playlist. Um, if it's in the playlist, then you're good to go. Um, but yeah, I love binging Mania Plans videos all the way through May. Uh, and so I, I know I'm not alone in that. I can't be alone in that. So um, you guys check that out if you are into it. With that, I think that's all I have to share with you today. An update video is forthcoming. It may not be till next week. My weather is not cooperating this week. Um, so that will probably be next week when you get a real update. I don't know what my filming schedule is going to be like for Mania. I've toyed with daily vlogs and every other day vlogs. Probably none of that will happen. We'll see what it, we'll see what how it goes. Um, and I also have my 24 hours of cross stitch marathon recap video that should be up, I think, Friday or Saturday. So um, be on the lookout for that. Okay, y'all, I'm headed out here. Time to get this video edited and posted for you all. Be sure to cast your votes, like I said. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your continued support of me and my channel. I hope everybody's doing well. Stay safe, stay healthy. As always, be kind. See y'all in the next one.